Why is China drilling one of the world's deepest holes? Ever wondered why China is digging one of the deepest holes on Earth? While space exploration grabs headlines, China is taking a different route, drilling deep into our planet. What motivates this ambitious mission and what secrets might it unearth? In this video, we'll explore China's quest to drill one of the world's deepest holes, unraveling the mysteries that lie beneath our feet and the potential scientific revelations it holds. China is digging trenches as deep as 30,000 feet in the Sichuan Basin and plans to go much deeper into the Tarim Basin. These tunnels will be among the deepest ever dug by humanity, exceeding the depths of any ocean and towering above Mount Everest. So why is China digging so deeply? This is a twofold mission. First, for scientific research. The Earth's crust is like a history book. Digging into its layers reveals the tale of our planet's development. Second, there are business interests. These strata may conceal substantial energy sources, presenting China with a critical energy source for future expansion. According to Chinese President Xi Jinping, established in 2021, it is to reach the Earth's fundamentals that enable forming material more than 145 million years before. This drilling will revolutionize the science perspectives, contribute to the controversies in integrating environmental hazards like in seismic studies, and fortify geoscientific research. Although the Chinese drill may not delve as deep as given by Russia's Kola Superdeep Borehole, which took 27 years to pierce a depth of 12,263 meters, the technological success is quite notable when one considers the time period in which it was occurring. The Kola Superdeep Borehole, due to the complicated nature of drilling deep, had numerous obstructions and malfunctions over a long career beginning in 1970 and ending in 1994. However, to the astonishment of Charles Darwin in 1900, it turned out that the sample revealed surprising findings that put in debate established theories of the Earth's crust, water and hydrogen, microfossil plankton and metamorphic rock beneath the granite layer. However, in spite of being an incredibly deep cola borehole, this borehole bed only managed to reach into the surface of the Earth. But going deeper into the warm mantle could make us doubt our old ideas and perceptions regarding the chemical structure of the Earth. What then happens on the mantle? This does not occur as a volcanic eruption. Neither is there reading of mantle rocks that are gradually moving, which is similar to the growth of a fingernail. Our planet's structure holds the Earth's mantle thousands of kilometers deep below our feet, which is a massive layer of the Earth that no one has gone down to observe. Visualize the Earth as a piece of layer cake where, in comparison, only 1% of Earth's volume is occupied by the crust, which we live on, amazingly thin shell, while the core, which is rich in heavy elements including iron and nickel, shaped almost identical to ours, accounts for a mere 15%. Nevertheless, the mantle is the challenger, weighing in at a whopping 68% of Earth's mass and almost an equally mind-boggling 89% of its volume. However relevant the mantle is, it remains shrouded in mystery, unlike the flowing magma that is supposed to be composed of rock. Throughout the Earth, rocks in intense heat and pressure can flow. Despite seeming static for so many years, actually hundreds of millions of years, these rocks move slowly nonetheless. Imagine that you get rid of the lava in a giant lava lamp. It would then simply be the mantle. At the periphery of the core mantle bound, matter gets heated and therefore becomes less dense that causes it to rise just like a bubble does in a lava lamp. These continents drift toward the bottom of the plume, causing these buoyant plumes to flow along the top, melting the surface and then slowly returning to the core. Yet the trick here is that mantle motions behave as snails of speed that might need about 2 billion years to complete, one full circuit or from the crust to the heart and back. Many questions lie in the mantle so far, a direct access may help to solve these matters but only by a spelunking through a borehole. A pristine mantle chunk would be like dropping out of Atlas to land on the moon, giving a hack to know in just how many seconds of Earth life was born. This distinctive sample could reveal an enigmatic planet forming ingredients that remain hidden in our mineral formations to this day, unlocking humanity's mysteries of Earth's complex evolution. By seismic waves generated by earthquakes, scientists come to infer the insistence and existence in nature of convection currents of heat, that is mantle without having any physiological samples. 
By analyzing the paths of and velocities, they can elucidate such things as density, viscosity, and properties from such mantle materials. Relevant to subsurface physics is the speed at which Earth's crust rebounds upon the disappearance of huge ice sheets. Further measures of magnetic and gravitational fields on the Earth limits the varieties of lodging materials underground. Although scientists never found themselves drilling too deep, they still have real mantle samples. These samples, which now have traveled extraordinary paths as a result of volcanic action, tectonic collisions, and ocean ridges, are, on the other hand, a challenge for scientists because familiar samples contain traces of both air and seawater. Hence, they long for an unmixed sample. This could be done through drilling it and extracting its contents that would help to unveil some of planet Earth's deepest mysteries, enriching our knowledge about astral bodies that are a mystery to man. It is hard to imagine that secrets of the Earth's mantle could be discovered. What about its density, heat conductivity, and seismic wave spread? This could potentially undermine our assumptions and change the way we see the following. What a prospect! In spite of the fact that we seem to be keeping some treasures revealed to the underground of our land, why not deepen our world? Efforts are made during the Cold War of similar nature as the space race, bringing out technological skill. The USA initiated deep vertical drilling of the Earth in the late 1950s as Project Mohol, a investigation reaching the Earth's mantle. It is interesting that they did not plan the tunnel as an incredibly deep hole, but around the island of Guadalupe and the floor of the Pacific Ocean, where the crust was thinner and you could make a shortcut. The Soviets joined the organization DSDP in 1970 at the Kola Peninsula, and from 1990 on, the German Continental Deep Drilling Program started drilling under Bavaria, like the ODP, beneath Malta since it reached 29,800 feet. Both faced a common challenge. The head whenever we have to invent new technologies on the go, like when making a moon rover, while the rocket is ready on the launch pad. Many years ago in the early 1960s, there were no vital drilling technologies like dynamic positioning when Project Mohol started drilling under the subsea floor. From this point forward, engineers' creativity elevated to the extent where they installed propellers that enabled the drill ship to be stable. Boreholes used by German engineers were not so vertical, but it was a challenge to keep them vertical. Its smart component is a device used in the oil and gas industry today and presents the indirect benefits of audacious scientific ventures. Despite heroic endeavors, these drilling expeditions encountered such problems as premature starts, plugs, and searing underworld temperatures. However, this would come back to cost a lot of money, politics aside as well. During the first failure of an oil-penetrating drill project known as Project Mole two years earlier to Neil Armstrong's moon landing, they canceled the project because of the increasing costs. The current record holder, the Kola Super Deep Borehole, stopped drilling in 1992 after it found itself way ahead of expectations as temperatures were unexpectedly high to reach 180 degrees Celsius or about 356 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat therefore presented challenges as it subjected equipment to an extreme amount of strain and needed technologies that were wary of costly diminishing gains. The fact that the Soviet Union disintegrated in 1995 implies that this facility was no longer working and identical. There are adventurous tourists who come here. On the other hand, equipment in the German borehole barely lies, and because of its tourist attraction, one scientific legacy that this drill rig turned crane, carrying down the instruments for measurements has left us a lasting legacy. The giant natural battery is buried under 20 kilometers deep from the Earth's surface. This renewable energy source is as powerful as a fossil, and it's also clean as solar, wind, or hydro, has less land footprint, but provides benefits such as preservation trees and protection of wild lives. Supercritical geothermal energy resources are extraordinarily abundant and efficient, worth over the prime psychological capital of $30 trillion, raising billions from energy poverty, reducing greenhouse gas emissions considerably, and giving millions of jobs. All we need to do now is to overcome the engineering challenge of drilling to such great depths. Hey, if you found this video fascinating, please consider subscribing.